Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session now we are going to describe about testing one dimensional domain. Okay. So we are testing on one dimensional domain. Whenever we are having a closure it may be wrong or the boundary can be shifted or one way or the other or we can miss the boundary or we can have the extra boundary then we have to test the domain. Okay, so the possible domain works for one dimensional domain now uh, one dimensional open domain boundary now we are going to see. Okay, so this is one dimensional domain box and open boundaries. Okay, so in this figure we have assumed that the boundary was open for a the box looking for is closer error. Uh, which converts greater than or equal to or less than to less than or equal to on the boundary point detects this bug because the processing for that point will go to the domain A rather than B. Here we have to take into the consideration very keenly we have to observe either it is the greater than or equal to sorry either it is greater than or equal to 2 will be shifted to less than or to less than or equal to like that. And one more thing. Uh, the figure we have assumed that boundary was open to it is already completed ok and then in the figure we have suffered a boundary shift to left and the test point we used for closer detect this bug because the bug forces the point from the domain B and it should be a processing. Note that we can't distinguish between a shift and a closer error but we can know that we have bug. So what is the meaning of a bug here? testing in one dimensional domain the test point we used for closer detects this point because the bug forces the point from B domain where it should be to A processing let us see how it will be ok so B to A B is the one of the boundary point and A is one of the boundary point in this picture an open domain it is ok here it is a closer bug and it is boundary shifted to left here boundary shifted to right here missing boundary boundary is not there here extra boundary is existing for the open boundaries ok one dimensional domain box in the open dimensional open boundaries these are some examples ok so here we are we found some extra boundary extra boundary uh, means there must be some error will be there in this context extra boundary means A has been split into two here A has been split into two whenever it identifies an extra boundary ok so two off points we have selected uh, does the job if point C has been closed boundary on the test C would do it ok so what about C now? C is also having the shifted boundary. Okay. So as for open boundary, a test point on the boundary detects the closer bug. So test point on the boundary detects the closer bug. The rest of the case is similar to open boundary except now the strategy requires off points just side outside of the domain. See all these points whatever we have discussed are all on the domain. And now we are going to discuss off points of the domain the point which is lying on the boundary that is called as the boundary point the point which is lying adjacent to the boundary that is called as the off point this thing already we have discussed in our previous video okay these are some domain bugs open dimensional domain bugs let us see those are open domain closer bugs boundary shifted to left and right uh, missing boundary and having extra boundary and all these things okay so whenever the boundary if we have discussed here all are for open boundaries now what about the closed boundaries let us see this is one example of the closed boundary see b to a here a closed domain a closer bug boundary shifted to left and as well as the boundary shifted to right and some boundary is missing here and some extra boundary is coming here like that these are the closed boundaries not the open boundaries as in the previous case in the previous case these are open boundaries but here in this case these are closed boundaries the errors occurs in the closed boundaries okay so these are the various kinds of the errors and now we see how to test a two dimensional domain now up to now we have completed the one dimensional domain only now we are talking about the two dimensional domain 
a and b are adjacent domains and the boundary is closed with respect to a which means that it is with respect to open to open with respect to b this is the very good example of uh, uh, two dimensional uh, domains in the two dimensional domains we are having like this uh, closer box shifted down tilted boundary etc etc will be there in the two dimensional boundaries in the two dimensional boundaries not only one single boundary will be there the overlapping of one the intercepting of one boundary with another boundary will look like look here okay conjoining with uh, one boundary with another boundary and as well as uh, intercepting with one boundary with another boundary all are the examples of uh, testing two dimensional domains so for two dimensional domains for closer boundaries what kind of the bugs normally we may encounter okay so closer bug figure shows a faulty procedure faulty closer such that uh, it causes wrong operator two on points detect this bug because those values will get b rather than a processing okay so closer bug is one of the bug uh, which is a faulty closer so whatever points b and a are there they only can detect that particular bug okay so next one is shifted boundary Shift, if, then the figure the bug is shifted up here see the figure is uh, shifted up here okay here see the figure is somewhat up here okay so um, okay so the result is caused by incorrect constant in predicate the off point catches this bug and figure shows the shift down is caught by the two on points okay so here see two on points shifted down this is shifted up this is shifted down two on on points are there and one off point is there in this example okay so this is one of the uh, procedure sorry this is one of the testing two dimensional domains okay for closed boundaries and uh, for closed boundaries one more is there shifted boundary the boundary will be shifted down that is uh, shifted down boundary the third one this one okay so shifted down boundary and next uh, figure shows the shifted down that it caught by two on points it can be caught by two on points the shifted boundary the next one is nothing but uh, tilted boundary extra boundary and missing boundary so what are the tilted uh, extra and missing boundaries let us see in the diagram itself tilted boundary that will class like this extra boundary extra boundary is one of the boundary that we have seen already uh, there are no uh, point there are no extra um, there are some extra points will lies with the intercept interception of this um, whenever it is crossing this point also comes under a like this okay and then the last one is missing boundary any boundary is missing a missing boundary will match two different domains and will cause many test failures so missing boundary is caught by two on points okay so we have two on points two off points this on point and off points not only lies on the domains they can help us to carry out the bugs sorry they can help us to identify the bugs okay so these are the closed and open boundaries okay so the next one we are discussing about is procedure for testing normally the procedure for domain testing is very straightforward it can be done by hand for two dimensions and for few dimensions practically impossible for more than two variables okay so first one identify the input variables here identify the variable which appears in domain defining predicates such as control flow predicates is the second step third one interpret all the domain predicates in terms of input variables number four for p binary predicates there are two at most two power p combinations of true false values and therefore we have at most two to the power of p domains okay find the set of all non land domains and solve these inequalities and find the extreme points of each domain using any one of the linear programming methods these are the simple five steps for what uh, for procedure for testing okay what is the first step identify input variables identify the variable is existing uh, in uh, domain predicates such as control flow predicates 
and interpret all the domain predicates in terms of input values. For for p binary values, there are at most two to the power of p combinations of true false values. Find the set of all non-land domains and solve these inequalities to find the extreme points. Okay, so this is the method of the testing. These may these are the main points of the testing. Okay, so next we are talking about the domain and interface testing. Okay. What is the domain and interface testing? Components A and B have demonstrated to satisfy their component tests. Okay. For a single variable, the domain span is the set of numbers uh, between the smallest value and largest value. For input, every input variable, we want at least compatible domain spans and compatible clauses. Okay. For the domain interface testing. What are domains and ranges? The set of output values produced by a function is called as the range. In contrast, the set of input values are called as the domains. This thing already we have discussed. And for most of the testing, our aim is to specify the input values and predict the output values. That is the, our main, main aim in the domains and uh, domain interface testing. Okay. So, this is nothing but uh, test, uh, testing one dimensional domains, testing uh, two dimensional domains for open and as well as closed bugs and all these things in one dimension and as well as the two dimensional domains uh, and for closed boundaries how and for uh, open boundaries how and what is the procedure of testing, what is the meaning of domain and interface testing, what is the domain and range, all these things we have seen. Okay, so if at all anybody won't watch my, didn't uh, subscribe my channel, I request you please subscribe my channel and watch all the videos. Thank you for watching.